I guess I'll just do like a little catch up video. A little like what's new in my life. Give you a little update. Okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a year or months. It's been a long time. <sighs> I'm a little nervous, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit nervous. Hence why I'm doing an accent. I don't know where that accent came from. I don't know what that accent was. Um, I am so sorry I haven't posted in a long time. Just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's been a long time since I've sat down and just like vlogged. I didn't intend to take a break. And I'm sorry the last video I posted was such a bummer. Um, but I I think I really needed time to grieve Tiny Pretty Things being canceled. Grieve losing my dream job. Um, anyways, I'm back. <laughs> the last time I posted, I still had dark hair. Probably looks looked very similar to this. I did, I did dye my hair blonde again for fun. I grew my hair really long, really long and I got tons of blonde highlights all throughout it. So it was kind of this like sandy, brownish, blondish, flowy. Like it's really long right now, but it was like long. I'll be inserting photos, you'll see. In my 2022 goals or like manifestation list, I prefer to call it. I just wanted to be more spontaneous and travel more. I felt like when I looked back at 2021, I had spent so much of the year just like locked in my apartment alone. Mind you, we were in lockdown for like the first half of 2021 in Toronto. So partially it was due to that, but I also just felt like I was like kind of in a funk. I was like kind of down in the dumps. So anyways, 2022, I wanted to just like get outside. I wanted to travel. I wanted to just like be more spontaneous, which is not really in my character, but I've done a pretty good job of being more spontaneous this year. So yeah, super last minute, like two days before I decided to join my friend Lauren and road trip down to South Carolina and then Florida. And then there was like a huge snowstorm in Toronto. So I ended up stranded on a connecting flight in New York city, which is actually awesome because I then spent the night with cashmere. I cracked a rib right here. I wiped out on black ice, carrying like a box of stuff. I was helping Lauren move late at night in the dark and just like wiped out on the driveway and smashed my ribs on the front stairs, uh, which were cement. First time breaking a bone. Although it wasn't confirmed that it was broken. When I went to the doctor, they were like, eh, whether it's broken, whether it's not, there's no treatment for it. Just rest for six weeks, no working out. Just like make sure you're doing deep breaths to like aerate your intercostal muscles and like the whole area because otherwise like they don't tape it up anymore because otherwise you can develop pneumonia apparently. So that was fun. But because I had the cracked rib and was just like couch bound um, and couldn't do anything else, uh, again in March, last minute trip to New York popped up. So I met up with the entire Tiny Pretty Things cast and uh, shared a hotel room with Danny, which was like super fun. Um, I just like ran around New York for a week. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Five, six, ready and strut. <laughs> I fell in love. Uh, yeah, so that's been nice. It is nice. What else? My cats are great. I booked a movie. Oh yeah, I booked a movie like right at the beginning of the year. I totally skipped that. I booked a role in a movie. Um, where I had to do a Southern accent. I got a dialect coach. He kind of like had me do exercises to find where my voice naturally kind of sat. And then he was like, okay, so I think it's more sitting in like a Carolina. And so we, we kind of worked it that way. Yeah, it was very fun. The director was pleased with it on set. So I felt successful working with the accent. It was my first time doing an indie feature film. That's a big check mark on my actor bucket list. And the plan for the movie is for it to be uh, submitted to film festivals in the fall and do like a festival circuit tour. I don't know what you call it. Started filming Pretty Hard Cases season three. Love being on that show whenever they have me in. I kind of like pop in here and there on that show, which is really fun. It's like always a great set to work on. I've been auditioning like crazy. I actually filmed two auditions today. So cross your fingers for me. I'm really trying to hold on to the energy that what is meant for me will find me, that hard work always pays off, that I'll end up on the right 
project. I'm just really trying to like allow the universe to bring what's meant for me to me and just to make sure I'm like ready for the opportunity when it comes, you know, staying in acting classes. Keeping in shape. Oh, keeping in shape. I signed up for my first half marathon. So I'm really excited about that. Big challenge, but I'm running it with my brother in October, right before my birthday. Um, oh, I got a tattoo. I think that's kind of it. I've just been like trying to, you know, level up, be a better version of myself, make sure I'm like keeping really balanced the Libra in me, pouring time into my career and like acting and my creative endeavors, pouring time into personal life, friendships, relationships, my family time. It's like such a goal of mine to hit a hundred thousand subscribers and I've been saying it for years and then I always like lose inspiration and like stop. I'm going to hit hundred K by the end of the year. That is a goal of mine. So I will be posting often. Thank you so much for watching. Sending so much love to all of you out there. I hope you're having a great summer. Bye.